Helen Keller once said, best friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in the heart. Everyone has that one best friend who is like family, and you know no matter what, they'll always be there for you. I'm lucky to have that person in my life, and that person is Kai Susan. Kai has been in my life for as long as I can remember. They became a part of my family over the years, and when I mean years, I mean since I was a few months old. They were even my homecoming date when I needed it. They helped me through my depression, and they never gave up on me, no matter how hard things got. I wouldn't be the person I am without them. So I'm going to go back to what I said originally. Like I've known them since maybe I was a few months old, because I went to a daycare for the first few years of my life, and that's where I met Kai. Little did I know they, they would become my best friend. And they watched me grow up, kind of like how a parent watches their child grow up. And it was, it just means a lot to me sometimes. They watched me change over the years, and they watched me mature. I moved houses when I was in the fifth grade, and by some trick of fate, we ended up being neighbors. And I became more and more included in their family, from going over there and having dinner some nights, or spending the night, and even being included on trips and being teased by them and their siblings, and I can proudly call all of their family my own. I only have a younger brother, and I'll be the first one to admit to any of you that I am kind of a sucky sibling. I'm really moody and really temperamental, especially when things aren't going my way. So I kind of never really got along with my brother, because he's really hot-headed too. And Kai kind of showed me that you have to keep your calm, and you have to be cool, especially with your siblings, because they are not always going to understand maybe what you're going through. And I had to learn the hard way that, um, that you have to be that good role model in that sibling's life, because they're always going to be there for you in the end. Admittedly, that's kind of also when I was younger, but that had a really huge impact. So I'm going to kind of bring it to a little story here. At the beginning of the year, I had a boyfriend, and he asked me to homecoming and everything, but sometimes things just don't work out, and we ended up breaking up a few weeks before the dance. And Kai knew how upset I was, and also there's nothing towards him anymore. Oh well. Kai knew how upset I was, and I really wanted someone to go with, as this was my first homecoming here. And I couldn't really stop what they were going to do next, so I kind of let it happen. It was play season, so we were all in the auditorium, and I was waiting for rehearsal to start back up again. And they, they came in with a poster and chocolate, and of course I was going to say yes. It, they were my best friend. Of course I'd want to go with someone who meant a lot with me. I kind of knew this was happening because one of my friends had accidentally spoiled it to me because they knew what was happening. They tried to make my night the best that they could because they knew how hard the first few months of my freshman year was. They <laughs> bought me dinner and flowers, and that's never happened to me before, so it made like a big difference, and I'll always remember that night. Life isn't always rainbow and sunshine, especially for me, but no matter what, Kai was always there for me. My mental health got really bad at the beginning of this year. I was slipping into a really deep depression, and I wasn't doing well in my classes, or I wasn't coming to school, and I just kind of gave up. But Kai would always text me in the morning being like, hey, you gotta get up, you don't have a choice. That may sound rude to any of you, but it kind of pushed me that I need to go do this, otherwise I won't do it for myself. They supported me going through therapy, which was a really hard step to take at any point in your life. And they would always try doing something that'd make me smile or maybe make my day a little bit better. Even with my depression, Kai loved me and they cared. And they never gave up on me, even when I gave up so many times. I've made a lot of dumb decisions coming into high school. I'll be the first one to tell you that. But I don't have enough time here to explain all of those. They would never really scold me for anything that I did wrong. They would, be, they would tell me, it's going to be OK, no matter how the outcome of this is. I will always be there for you. And I'll never stop loving you. They, found light in the situation, even if it really wasn't a good situation. They were always my shoulder to cry on, or my sibling ready to beat someone up for breaking my heart, which happened quite often. And it always got a, I always got a kick out of it because just I knew they wouldn't actually go beat someone up, but it always made me smile, and I always knew how to do that, which meant a lot. And even when I was having the hardest day, and I would cry all the time, they would always still be there, ready to give me hugs or bring me candy and stuff like that, knowing that it would probably make my day. I always thought I was a burden to Kai because of how many issues I had, and they were going through a lot at the same time too, but it never really stopped them from giving me that unconditional sibling and family love. And they're helping me slowly through high school, and I know that they'll still be there even if they graduate in the next few years, and I'll always be there for them too. Without Kai, I wouldn't be the person I am today, or even if I would really be here today. They gave me that older sibling I had never had, the comfort of one, and of course, the threatening to be someone up for me. They were always my sibling, for better or worse. Kai was even my homecoming date when I felt I needed it. Kai was there for the darkest times of my life, and that happened quite often. 
kind of showed me that life was worth it and I shouldn't give up no matter how things, how hard things really get. I have a sense of how to be a good older sibling from Kai, and I know I'll never give up on my brother because he'll need some of that support when he comes into high school, too. They've done everything to, they can to make my high school year the best. I won't be able to thank Kai for all that they've done for me, and I kind of hope this speech can be a start. And I'm going to go back to the quote I said at the beginning. I know no matter how far I go in my life, Kai will always be there, and I will always be there for them, no matter how far we are apart.